Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Carrie Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we've been visiting the machine shop at the St. Clair County Technical Education Center and learning about the Summer Employment Academy that was held this summer as we're talking with the director here at Tech, Pat Yannick. And, and Pat, you've been telling all week about the number of kids that you were able to help find employment. First of all, is it full-time employment, and how are you going to be following up with those kids throughout the course of the rest of the winter and, and, and spring next year? It, it is full-time employment, and uh, we will be, once the students have completed their 90 days, uh, we'll be doing some formal interviews with the students, surveying of the students, uh, meeting with the employers to get some feedback at the end of the 90 days. You know, our hope is that they're all still employed at the end of 90 days and uh, that the employers are satisfied with the students and that um, the employers will want to do this again. How did you come up with a program like this and an idea to even to put this together, especially with the manufacturers? Well, it, it really stemmed from uh, our meetings with uh, Blue Meets Green in St. Clair County and uh, the EDA of St. Clair County along with the Eastern Michigan Manufacturers Association. Uh, by meeting frequently with those three groups, as we were going into the summer, um, it was apparent that in our community we had local manufacturers that were in need of um, young talent, that, th that they were not able to find the workers that they were looking for. And so we began to talk about, you know, what if we did a summer program, you know, could we do something where we could help students leaving high school uh, gain the skill they need and become employable during a summer period of time. And, you know, initially the conversation was, you know, we're not sure that's enough time. Um, how long of a day would it be? Would that be too much? And the more we talked about it, we thought, you know what, let's make it as much like work as possible. Let's make it a 40 hour week uh, so that the students get a, a feeling of what it's going to be like when they leave the, the training program and actually go to work. Also included earlier this week, uh, your hopes to expand the program next year. How, how can the community get behind and support a program like this? Well, uh, the, the Community Foundation of St. Clair County was uh, very supportive. Um, they sponsored 10 students to go through the program as part of our pilot, and that's extremely helpful. Um, other than that, the, the big thing would be that um, um, we need to know what those employment opportunities are, and then um, as you know, parents of young people, we need their help supporting the students, encouraging them to stick with it and, and go through the program and to help them understand the benefit of the program. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dayline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Resource.